Over three million adults have epilepsy with symptoms ranging from unusual behavior and sensations to severe seizures, sometimes even daily. Our next guest, Kimberly, can relate, but her diagnosis didn't come easy. In 2010, I moved to China to teach English. One afternoon, my right side started to become numb. I started to have a metallic taste and I started to hallucinate. <laughs> I didn't know what was happening. My symptoms continued to get worse. When episodes were happening, my face would twitch, my throat would close, gasping for air. I would shake, I would be drooling, I would lose consciousness. There were times where I would fall and I'd wake up and I would have bleeding, I would have a bruise, or I fell and my head hit the wall. I wasn't able to sleep. I was having depression, fear, anxiety, and just my emotions, they were all over the place. I couldn't function. It was starting to take over my entire life. There was one evening where I felt like there were bugs and worms crawling inside my body. I actually was taking things and trying to poke and scratch my own skin. It was beyond terrifying. I had no idea what to do. I had no idea where to go. After that happened, my dad booked me a flight back to the States. Then, February 14, 2011, I was officially diagnosed with epilepsy. After being diagnosed with epilepsy, we went through trial and error with medications, but unfortunately, my symptoms continued to get worse. Oh, 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 okay, no, no, no. Which led to my doctor telling me that I'm a candidate for brain surgery. On March 28, 2016, my doctors removed three areas of my brain, my amygdala, my hippocampus, and a portion of my insula. So after that surgery, I didn't have seizures for the first month, but they started to come back. I did not know. They decided to perform a second surgery. They wanted to insert a device, like a pacemaker for the brain, to help stop my seizures from happening. For the first part of the surgery, I was awake and aware for four and a half hours while they resected the insula. At this point in my life, I just wanted to live again. I was willing to do absolutely anything to save my life. Please welcome neurologist Dr. Vikram Rao and his patient Kimberly to the show. And Kimberly, thank you for sharing this journey you've been on and here you sit, you've had multiple surgeries, you've been on countless treatments. How are your seizures now? Continuing to get less, um, so I've had less seizures and they're more simplistic and they're easy to control and I feel so safe knowing that I am not dealing with epilepsy alone. I have such seizures were you having before you got this procedure versus how many seizures are you having now? So before the surgeries, I was having 30 to 60 seizures a day. Some of them I couldn't feel. Some of them I couldn't feel, but when, while I was in the hospital, they implanted, um, mm -hmm. they implanted electrodes inside my skull and the doctors were, were able to see. They said, Kimberly, you are having continuous seizures. Some I could feel, some I couldn't. As you can see over here, I had a seizure where I fell on a glass table. It's, I, I was awake and aware, but it continued and it was lengthy. I lost consciousness and I fell on a glass table. I woke up in an ambulance and I had to get stitches in my lip. 